So write that on your notes. Here's a nice question for you on the test. Explain how you can possibly go from here to there. Yeah, I'm asking you to write it down on your paper. Through formation of intermediates or mechanism, whatever you want, but you need to explain how you go to over there. <laughs> Guys, all your conversation is going to show up on the video. Yes? Sophia, you want to come to the board and do it? No. You sure? Yeah. Because this has the more energy. <laughs> no, not me. You guys, you're not waiting for me. You're doing it yourself. Do whatever you want. Write your boyfriend's name down. Fake it. You gotta try to do something, right? That's the purpose of thinking in my class. That's a chart question. So, first of all, what type of reaction is that? Hydration. Hydration, that's right. Which occurs through the formation of? Carbocation. Is Markornikov addition, is it not? Yes. yes. So, you draw the intermediate. You don't have to draw the whole mechanism. Just draw the intermediate. And then see how you can go from the intermediate you have to that thing over there. Yeah, we know. Metal shit. Yeah, you yeah. gotta do metal shit. Yeah. We know who's we. Know. Okay. Well, speak for yourself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> metal shit. Yeah. So what happens is very quickly, mm -hmm. a hydrogen is gonna add somewhere. Yeah. There. And what? Where is it gonna add? To here? To here? The bottom. The bottom. The bottom. Is gonna add to here. Yes. Yeah. So let's not write. Mm -hmm. It added there. Had two hydrogens before. Now has three. Right. The, the carbocation will now be here. Right. This carbocation is what? Secondary. secondary. This is a secondary carbocation. Mm -hmm. This secondary carbocation, or any carbocation, can do what? Undergo uh, sure. rearrangement. Uh, rearrangement. Okay? There you go. Things can break and form in new places. Right. Mm -hmm. So what happens is. Since this is secondary, this is close enough, and there is going to be a methyl, methyl shift. shift. And you don't have to write the methyl shift. You just say, one, two, methyl shift. So this methyl will go where? Yeah, there. It's right over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This methyl will go there. Mm -hmm. And then and if it, the methyl goes there. Then it will be a carbon cation over there. <coughs> yes? Yep. You see those two? Mm -hmm. Are these two. Mm -hmm. Right. That one? Is this one mm -hmm. and the methyl went here, right? Yes, and now the carbocation is where mm -hmm. this methyl used to be at, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And this is a methyl shift to form what type of carbocation? Tertiary, 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 tertiary carbocation. Carbocation. Yeah. Now, this tertiary carbocation will have the attack there, yeah. mm -hmm. yes, to mm -hmm. produce that thing, mm -hmm. yeah. These two, okay? I wasn't going to draw this yeah, thing yeah, shifted yeah. there, okay? Yeah. Uh, whatever, two methyls. There's two methyls here. Right. Yeah. Okay, it's the same anyway. Mm -hmm. Of course, if this were. Chiral, then you would get 
Yeah. And answer my question. How did you like that question on the test? That was nice. That was easy. Um, we don't need to like show the, the age separating from the water. And, like, no, I said, I said, explain to me how this happens. Mm -hmm. If you show me the age separating from the water on all of this, and in the middle of all of that, you show me the carbon, the carbon rearrangement, I give you credit. Mm -hmm. But in order for you to go from here to there, you didn't need to do all of that. Mm -hmm. You only show the key point, which is Everybody carbon is like rearrangement. Carbon rearrangement. <clears throat> the rearrangement of carbon. That's right. Nice. We're going to do another reaction called halohydrin. Are you making flashcards? Yes. Yes. I'll finish mine. Are you racist? Gauche, why are you taking so long, man? You can say hydration. This one is hydrogen. Halohydrin. Halohydrin. Halohydrin formation. This halohydrin formation is called halohydrin because because it has a halogen and, water. and it has water. water yeah. Whenever you see this Br2, what do you think that is going to do? Anti. No. What intermediate is that going to form? Bromonium. 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 Br2 bromonium ion. Now, because there is water in there. You have two choices. Now, the Br- minus can attack it, forming the dihalide. Mm -hmm. But if there is water around, water attacks it better. Mm -hmm. And instead of forming a halogen and another halogen, you have a halogen and OH. Right, and it'll be okay. water it Because water is a better nuclear follow than Br- minus. OK? Plus, there is tons of water in there. So you try to draw the product. Now, you don't have to show me stereochemistry, yes? Baby steps, one at a time. Just draw the product.
Addition once again is anti. anti. <clears throat> because everything that goes through the formation of a bromonium ion is anti. anti. <clears throat> now do these two. Was that your phone? Yes. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal, okay? <laughs> Less offensive than saying I tricked you. I'm confused. What happens with the other PR? Okay, yeah. He said there were, the water would attack it. Most of the time, when we do these organic reactions, we care about the starting material, the conditions and the product we expect it to get, okay? Now, of course, it's not balanced. This equation is not balanced, yes? Mm -hmm. Because what we care about is the organic product. The other BR is somewhere there, BR minus. Yeah. And what else is there? Water. Water. And H plus, and H plus, H plus, hydronium. Yeah. Yeah. HBR. Mm -hmm. So it's just left over? Okay. You want to be angry about this? Yeah. I'll complain later when you don't write it and then I... There is a Br minus from the bromonium ion, yes? Uh -huh. And this was H2O, and now this will be HBr. HBr. Okay? Now, because you're asking for this, and I wasn't planning on doing it, this needs a solvent, and the solvent is called DMSO, and DMSO stands for dimethyl sulfoxide. It's the universal solvent. The universal solvent? It's water. No, that's water. Oh, so what's the MSO? You said it died. Isn't it one of the really good solvents? You are right. That is the best of them. But not the universal. Universal, universal. Can't universal is water. Universal is not water. Oh, it's it's water. Organic water. solvents do not be solved in water. How can it be the universal solvent? Water is the universal Biology? According to your biology. Yeah. Like, you know, the first a couple of chapters in your bio book talks about water? Of course. One of the properties being the universe is called the life. Of life. Can't be yes, of life. <laughs> this is of everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The MSO is one of the best solvents there is, in fact. They can't put a medication inside of you because it does not dissolve in water. They put it in the episode. So that's how Sophia knows because she's been injected with the episode before. Right, Sophia? Yeah. I have been injected. Most of you guys have. You just don't know about it. It's the MSO? I had most recently. By the way, whatever DMSO goes inside of your body will never come out. No, it'll dissolve. It'll dissolve forever in your fat and whatever. You guys, you guys got fat? Yeah. Where? Oh, my leg for sure. I got fat in my brain. That's where I got fat. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know about that. 
What's the answer to that question, my friends? No, no, no. She put. She said, why did you put the triangle with the bromonium ion on the top and not on the bottom? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you do it in or out. Yeah. I put it on the top because I like it. Yeah. <laughs> That's just my preference, okay? Some of you guys might draw it on the bottom all the time. So, that's to form this, yes? Uh -huh. But this is chiral, is it not? Yeah. Is this chiral? Yeah. yeah. Is that yes. chiral? No. Yes, that is. So, what you really are going to get is something like this. Yep. That's what I got. <coughs> By the way, if you draw this like this, it's okay too. Okay? If you draw this like that, it's okay too. I just draw these two inside all the time, and that towards the back like that. But you can draw one on the top, one on the bottom, and the same on the top and the same on the bottom. Okay. Yes? That's what I did, yeah. So, if this is a CH3, what is this going to be? OH. OH. The OH. If the OH is here, the BR is where? In the back. In the back. In the back. The BR is here. Yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Outstanding. Why? Because this is, what type of addition is this? Anti-addition. Anti Why is this anti-addition? Because it's a Because it's a bromonium. Because it's a bromonium. bromonium ion. Outstanding. I would say you guys would be synthesizing drugs by next week. <laughs> okay? Now, of course, there is a possibility that the OH is here, yes? Yes. Okay? If the OH is there, the bromine will be where? In the front. In the front. Would be there. Okay? Right. Those are the two that you get. And they are? In antimers. And antimers. And a racemic mixture. And a racemic mixture. I don't this one. But yes, it does play a role. In this group, that in, the incoming group is too big. Because in this case, it's water, which is small. So it's no big deal. But if it's hindered, yeah, the attack is not going to occur. There. Okay, I want you guys to do it for this one. I'm going to erase this. Do it for this and draw the mechanism for this one. You guys like mechanisms, don't you? No. Well, you are going to get used to it. All we're going to do here and in organic too. Organic too, more mechanisms than here. So if you are not ready, kill yourselves now. <laughs>
guys, everybody make flashcards for next week on this edition of our Kings, okay? On the rest of the reactions in the chapter as well. The rest of the reactions are called oxymercuration, demercuration, or oxymercuration reduction, mm -hmm. hydroboration, oxidation, mm -hmm. hydrogenation, dihydrogenation, that what? Addition of osmonium tetroxide and ozonolysis. Now that hydroxylation, right? That's the MCPBA? MCPBA? Yeah. Oh, that's for peroxide. Okay. I mean, not peroxide. Oxyurin. How about Doyle for you? Who? I don't know. D-I-O-L? Doyle? I don't know how to pronounce it. Doyle? Because I see... Those are the racing brands. Because I didn't see what you just said. Those are called diodes. Osmonium tetroxide is for dye. I see that in my face. You said epoxidation? Epoxidation? What are the epoxidation too, right? Yeah, that's MCPBA. Okay, okay. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, my friends, what's the reaction here? What is it going to give you? So, look, let's, why don't we do this? If I draw these things on for you on the test, you gotta give me a product that has these things on the test. Okay. So what's gonna happen here is this is gonna go to the back and this is gonna go to the front. And the same thing here, yes? Mm -hmm. So where does what go where? This is CH2. CH3, this is an H, an H, and an H. What goes where? The OH goes here, yes? Yes. Because there's a secondary as opposed to a primary. The OH goes here because the BR went here. Where am I going to put the OH? I want to put it like this? Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. Okay. If we put it like this, then the BR will go where? On the bottom. On the bottom. Mm -hmm. But if I don't put it like that and I put it like this, and I put it on the bottom, the BR will go on the top. Why does the BR go on the top? Because of anti-addition and anti-addition here because of the formation of bromonium is this R or S? this is one uh -huh. which one is two? this one? no, no. The C that, one. that one yeah that's two and this is three, three. So this R. 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 That's just R. It is an R? Yeah. Yes. Because yes. the hydrogen is in the back. Yeah. And how about this one here? Is that chiral? Is this chiral? No. No, it's not. No, because it's two H's. H there, H here. We're going to do it again here. What is it here? One, Uh huh. two, Three and three. This is going that way. Yes. 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 They are what of each other? And nine stars. And nine tubers. And what amounts? Racemic. So.
Guys, did we talk about how to separate an antimers here before? How to separate them? Yeah. I don't know, I remember that. Yeah, I did, right? Like what? Mm -hmm. The diasteromes? Di diasteromes, yeah. <laughs> no, did I show this before? Yeah, I did, right? Let's say I wanted to separate these two. These two have exactly the same what? No. Exactly the same physical properties. Physical properties. <laughs> one R and one S. You cannot separate them by physical, physical properties. Physical properties, yeah. But yeah. if you react, I did talk about this. Yes, you yeah. talked about that. You yeah. gave, if you reacted with R here and with R here, but they have to, they have to react, right? Mm -hmm. And this gives you then R R, and this gives you S R. These are what of each other? Diastereomers yes. and yeah. diastereomers have different physical properties. Then you can separate. Yeah. I did talk about mm -hmm. this. Yes. yes, you are right, but they're not called diastereomers. <laughs> they're called diastereomers. But close enough. We got the diastereomers. <laughs> okay, guys. In the little time we have left, why don't we do more? <coughs> What do you want to do now? Go home. <laughs> you want to go home? You will. Uh, now, when back in the days when I went to school, this was called oxymercuration, demercuration. Mercuration, yeah. Okay, now the book uh, likes to call this oxymercuration reduction but you might find in another book oxymercuration demercuration yeah. so it's like you're putting a mercury and then what are you doing taking away you're taking, taking it away taking it out yeah. and the way that you take it out is with a reducing agent the reducing agent is called sodium borohydride mm -hmm. because it's reducing they just like to say now reduction mm -hmm. the other reaction is called hydroboration And now this here is called the oxidation. Hydroboration. Oh, this one goes against the Makamakar one. Yes. So one is called oxymercuration reduction, and the other one is hydroboration, hydroboration. oxidation. What is this going to have here? Reducing, reducing agent. agent. A reducing agent here will be sodium borohydride. This hydride is a source of H minus. This here, oxidation, is the second part, yes? Mm -hmm. This here, oxidation, will be with hydrogen peroxide, oxidizing agent, and OH minus. This is how you remember the second part. Reduction, sodium borohydride, oxidation, peroxide, peroxide, and, and OH minus. Right. For oxymercuration, <coughs> you are going to have mercury acetate with a two. So this mercury will have what type of charge in here? What oxidation number will this have? Plus, Plus two. two. All right. And for this hydroboration, it will be BH three. A boron with three hydrogen. Three hydrogen. Okay. Now what they do is, you have an alkene, and this will make from the alkene, it will make an alcohol. Have we done this before? No. No. We have not done before from an alkene to an alcohol? Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But the only exception is that what we did before is kind of sloppy, not so good. And it goes to the formation of a carbon cation, which can do what? Rearrange, rearrange it. itself, yeah. Now this, re this reaction here, no rearrangement. <coughs> Please. 
this oxidation, this oxymercuration reduction, I gotta get used to this because I oxymercuration, demercuration, it gives you no rearrangements. Okay? And it follows according to addition. <coughs> Hydroboration oxidation. Anti Markovnikov. Anti Markovnikov. Now the book does not like to call this anti Markovnikov because it thinks that you are going to remember that this is like anti addition. Anti. Yeah. I don't care, okay? <laughs> this is Markovnikov and this is anti Markovnikov. Anti Markovnikov. If you want to call it non Markovnikov, that's fine with me. If you want to call it, this is not Markovnikov, it's fine too. <laughs> you call it whatever you want, but Markovnikov on this one, not, not Markovnikov. Let's do some problems, my friends. You guys tired? Yeah. yeah. You guys want to go home? Yeah. No. Who will? First step on the one on the top is called the oxymercuration. The second step is called hydroboration. Hydroboration. No, that's the oxymercuration. And the second step, demercuration, is called nowadays reduction. Reduction. Because the guy that wrote the book, you know, philosophically likes that better. What happened? <coughs> what stinks? <laughs> you said mine stinks. I, I hate it. No, I did. I said thanks. Elizabeth, I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, where's the attendance at? He gave it to you. Oh, wait, I died. Ouch. <laughs> 
What do you want? Okay, guys, let's do this because we got another three or four reactions to go. Today. Wait, are we going over all the reactions? Damn right. Damn right. Damn, skip me. So, these conditions are for what? Oxymercuration. Reduction. Reduction or demercuration. What did they give you, guys? An alcohol. They gave you an alcohol. alcohol. With yeah. what? McCornicoff or anti McCornicoff? McCornicoff. McCornicoff addition. So the OH is going to go where? Somewhere right here. The OH right is going to go here. Uh -huh. Okay? Yeah. See? How about here? The, the OH It's going to go on the bottom. This is. Conditions for hydroboration oxidation. So yes. yes. This is anti-micorticoff. Mm -hmm. So the OH gonna go is going to go right on there. the opposite side yeah. where there is less. more hydrogen. More hydrogen yeah. okay. Less okay. So that's very good. Here we have this alcohol, and here we have a different alcohol. So synthetically, that is a good thing. We'll do more of this next week. Oxygenation. Let's do another one. Hydrogenation. That's like hydrogenation, yes. Hydrogenation, you have a double bond. This is an alkene. <laughs> and here, in the presence of hydrogen, palladium, or platinum, what you are going to have is reduction of the double bond. You're gonna add, you're gonna add hydrogen on both sides. So this is the alkane. This is a syn addition. I was waiting for that. <laughs> and when I say syn addition, that means that the hydrogens are added the same mm -hmm. side. on the same side. Professor, yeah. is this how they hydrogenate like, oil? They hydrogenate what? Oil, oil, like hydrogenate soy, 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 so
Is that what, that, that's the same thing as the miso? Or wait, what? Yeah, that's a miso, yeah. What? Oh, okay. <coughs> what else, guys? Nothing. <coughs> so, here we are going to do. Tetroxide. Oh, tetra. Tetroxide. Yeah, four. 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 So that's O5O4. Oh. It's something called oh, five, oh, four, right? Diols. Diols. Diols, yeah, OHOH. Is that a diol? Like a soap? Diol. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's also sin. Yes, and this is a sin addition. Sin addition, yeah. Obviously. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Dihydroxylation. <laughs> You just did the flashcard for us. Yeah, that's what you have to do. Is that what that's the Yes. That's the Sodium. It's called sodium bisulfite. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes, it's not 05. Oh, it could be 0504. Oh, is that what we said? Because it's not 0504, it's osmium tetroxide. And this is called sodium bisulfide. That's a block. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You know, that wouldn't make sense. Old five and old six, it just be old nine. You guys are all crazy. We lost. Ozone analysis. Ozone analysis. Ozone analysis, guys. Be quiet when you ask me this next week. I'm going to get upset because you guys are talking. Ozonolysis causes bond cleavage. Okay, ozonolysis breaks that and it puts oxygen instead. So make a carboxylic acid. That is what you were you are going to have. Whatever it is yeah. on those sides. We're going to do more of this next week. Mm -hmm. So you read about it. We're going to do mechanisms for this. Okay? You cannot use your flashcards on the exam. You can use your flashcards at any point except in the exam. The previous examples that we were doing that ended up with the OH and the VR and the HVR and the other kinds of products. We said because instead of it being VR, VR, it's VR, OH, it does have more water, right? But if it was only a catalytic amount of water, we didn't have to burn. 
would only occur if the water meets the that. The, there's, a, there's more water than you Okay, guys, let's go to the next chapter then. I'm just kidding. That's it? Wait, what do you think that's it?